Hi knitters, it's Mimi with Pastiche Knitwear and today's video tutorial is on the Chinese waitress cast on yet again. Um, I have another way to show you how to do this and it's very exciting. So we're going to make a slip knot, put it up on our needle, tighten that up and then we're going to tension the yarn in the left hand. Now in the previous Chinese waitress tutorial with the crochet hook we had our needle and hook perpendicular to each other. In this one we're going to hold them parallel to each other. To start I'm going to put my right index finger just behind that slip knot pressed on it a little bit just so it doesn't slide away from me. We're going to throw the yarn clockwise all the way around both hook and needle. We're going to come around again but we're going to go just around the hook, bring the yarn in between and to the back. Draw down on your crochet hook and then bring it back up parallel. So what we're left with is our original slip knot and then a stitch each on our hook and needle. So let's come around again, around, we're going to come around again, just around the hook. We're going to land with the yarn in between the two and to the back. This time we're going to draw down, we're going to come hook that, come under and through the stitch on our hook and then bring the hook back up. Now every subsequent stitch is going to be made this way. We throw around and around and land in between into the back and then just draw down with the crochet hook. Around, around again, yarn behind, then draw down and through. Now I was teaching the, the Chinese waitress cast on a couple weeks ago, just the way I've taught it for years. And as I went around to see how the students were doing, one of the girls was doing this and I thought, this is the most brilliant thing I've seen in a long time. Her name is Carmen Lindsay and I just wanted to give her credit for making a beautiful and elegant solution. So around, around again, yarn behind and in between and draw down and through. Around, around again and behind and draw down and through. Now let's take a look at it. So here is our chain on the one side, chain on the opposite side, and there's our original slip knot. Now when you are counting stitches on here, uh, for your target number of stitches, include the slip knot, but do not include the stitch that's left on the hook. Because what we're going to do at the end is, we're going to just take this, tighten up here, you're just going to chain through the last one, put that up on the needle tip, and then just take and slide all these stitches back down to the other end of the needle and pop that slip knot off. Now if you're on straight needles just knit one row and then when you get down there you can just drop it off. So that's it. That's all there is to it. I hope you give it a try. If these videos are helpful please consider subscribing. Happy knitting!